Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna try to dye my hair out because it needs it. I know my black probably will screw shit up. I know my black hair shit fucks up like crazy. I'm trying to like cover up my black edge. See, my hair is like all different colors and shit. But um, anyways, back to what I was trying to say. I have a fiance, okay? We've been together since July of last year. And he, I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to think of how to explain it. He has a mom. And the funny thing is, is that we've talked about, you know, us dating, which we are. Us engaged, which we are. And we talked about, you know, us getting married, which we're still in the process of trying to get it fixed. And all this and all that. And what's really been bugging me lately is that he doesn't understand how I feel about this subject. And as of recently, like, as of recently, his mom has been saying a lot of weird, weird stuff. And what I mean by that is, is that I got a text the other, <clears throat> I got a text basically yesterday morning when I was out doing stuff before I left to go pick up Boo Boo. And and what what I cannot talk. What was said was is that my fiance's mom was like, yeah, it's high tide season for girls to get pregnant. And it's like for her to tell him that it's my ovulation cycle, that's kind of personal. You know, it's like, okay, why are you telling your son it's my ovulation cycle? Like, I don't know if I'm ovulating. I don't know if I'm this or that, you know. I'm not a, I'm not a dog, you know. I'm just not a dog. And somehow, like, he was like, yeah, I want to come down, this, that, da, da, da. He's tried to come down eight times and all have been failed. Because it's like, oh, he comes up with excuses like, oh, Soraku, and oh, this and that, and oh, like, just lame-ass excuses. And the thing of the matter is, is that I don't appreciate a lot of things that he does. Like, he goes to clubs and goes to parties and starts hanging out with his popping bottles friend and... Like, the last time, well, the second to last time he was supposed to come down here to come hang with me, he wanted to bring his pop and bottles for it. And, like, I told him, which was basically hell no, I told him, I was like, your friend shouldn't have to come. You're a grown-ass man. You know how to act. You know how to drive. You know what to do. And it's like, his friend wanted to come for some odd reason. And I told him, no, I didn't trust his friend. I didn't want his friend around me. Because every time he gets around his little popping bottles friend, he starts acting stupid. And we have made, well, I have made four attempts to go see him and go be with him and all that shit. He's made, like, he's made at least eight attempts come down here. And it's all been nothing but arguments and all that shit. But he can text me and call me and, you know... Now we're emailing back and forth. And <clears throat> thing of the matter is, is that the thing of the matter is, is that with that, we're like, we're staying in contact every single day. We're constantly like emailing back and forth. We're constantly texting and all that stuff, which I'm not arguing about that part. But he was supposed to come down here yesterday, well, last night. So supposedly he was on his way down here halfway or whatever. And he left his hometown yesterday about five-ish. And I told him I wouldn't be available until 10. And not knowing, I had a birthday party to go to because I, I didn't tell him about it. Because I thought, it, you know, it was none of his business, none of his concern or just any of that. So I was with my son yesterday, Trey, of course. And he had posted a video of him on his way. So I was also driving on the others out of town and I couldn't answer my phone because I was actually text. I mean, I was driving. Why did I say texting? Ugh. And he's like, oh, you're with another man. Oh, you're with another man. Oh, you're with another man. 
But the funny thing is, he can go to hotels by himself, and he can just waste money, but he's constantly bitching about money. But the funny thing is, he posted on his story earlier today that he was going to buy this video camera. Or not video camera, but camera. The camera is a $4,000 camera. Where are you getting this kind of money from? You want to sit here and say that you're broke all the time, but you want to, you know, I'm talking about hypothetically, so I don't want this video getting blown up and blown out of proportion. I, I don't support him, support him. But when I do have the money, I try to help out with him as much as I can. And the thing of the matter is, is that he's constantly buying BMWs. Like, he's now got seven, seven BMWs. Like, who the hell buys seven cars? It's like you got your vets. You got your truck. You got... Seven BMWs. What the fuck kind of person gets seven BMWs? Like, it makes no sense. Then he, like, blacks out his one BMW that was all white. He turned it from a white BMW to a black BMW. Guess who bought the shit for him to do that? I did. And he's constantly telling me that he's wanting to move up. And supposedly this past weekend, he left to go out of town. Talk about this last weekend. And left to go out of town to sign a contract with this with this company. And supposedly it's a sponsor company or whatever. And supposedly this company was going to sponsor his shop in Ohio and this and that. And the thing of the matter is, we're engaged, but we're not married married. We're engaged. And he wanted to put me down on paperwork as his wife. And he like hounded me and 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 hounded me. Well, I need you to do this for me. I need this, this, that. Then when he was going through the paperwork, he started getting mad about shit. Oh, you don't care about me. Oh, you don't this. I invited him down this past weekend to come be with me, which was yesterday. And did he? Nope. And so we've kind of been arguing about it since I woke up this morning and I was tired. And he's like, oh, you don't love me. You don't want to be with me. You don't want this. You don't want that. Yada, yada, yada. You know, this, this, that. You know, and I'm like, why are you arguing with me for it? Like, dude, you make no fucking sense. Like, none. You make no fucking sense. Which he really doesn't. And... He's just like, oh, you don't want to be with me. This, this, that, you know. And was saying, like, all this, like, stupid shit. And then, like, he doesn't understand. It's like, I have a life. I was taking care of my family, who's just now recovering. Well, I'm not saying now recovering, but just got out of, you know, COVID and this and that. But I'm constantly getting accused of being with other men. He wants to be with me so bad, calls me his wifey and shit, but it's like his mom acts like she knows my ovaries. Like, that really bugs me. And it's like his mom is so weird. He's got a sister that knows nothing about me. He's got a brother who knows of me. And it's like, he couldn't even tell me he had a brother and a sister. Like, that's odd. And I, and yeah, I know what y'all are going to be thinking. Did you jump his ass over it? Yeah, I did. And... He's not being supportive. He's being hella shady. And I asked. And then, like, during that whole paperwork thing, he's like, oh, well, do I have to put another girl on here as my wife? I'm like, oh, really? You're going to be that much of a man whore? And the thing of the matter is, is that he wants to accuse me of every guy and say that, oh, I'm with every guy. When funny story is that I was with my kid at a birthday party yesterday for my cousin. If you guys watched the video of that. And he's like, oh, you're with another man. This, this, that. I'm like, sitting there thinking, dude, first of all, I'm with my child. Duh. And it's like, it irritates me. Like, it's frustrating. It's irritating. And this and that. But he can post on Instagram, oh, he wants a girl that's going to be his queen. 
wants a girl that's gonna like stand next to him. If you wanna be with a girl so bad, quit being a little pussy bitch and get your ass down here. Come be with me, but you're scared. And yeah, if you guys were wondering, I called his ass out tonight and he didn't like it. I called him a little boy because that's what he is. But he can go to hotels and go and blow money like it's going out of style and all this shit. Like, come on now. You complain that you're always broke. You complain that you never have money. You complain about this. You complain about that. But you want to sit on social media and act like, oh, you got a ton of money, this, that, patty whack, give it, got a gum shit. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, no, it's not even cool, dude. As you guys can tell, this video was supposed to be about me. <laughs> Probably regretting when this far away the whole bottle of this shit. Looks like a whole bottle of black is what it looks like. Looks like a whole bottle of black. But, um... But, um, yeah, like, he wants to bitch about, oh, this and that, patty whack, give a gobba gun shit, like I've been saying. And if you guys want to know what color I'm doing my hair, if it's the same color, just green. And, I mean, it's just stupid shit. He wants to complain, oh, why you never got money? Oh, why you never got this? Oh, why you never got that? The funny thing is he can get on social media and say, oh yeah, I'm going to buy another truck. Oh yeah, I'm going to buy another car. Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. He just bought all brand new appliances for his house. Just redid his floors. And so he acts like he never has no money. And he does. But constantly wants to say, oh, he wants to take care of me and my kids. Dude, it's like, you can't even afford nothing. does not look like green. Yeah, y'all, I am weird like that. Like, don't even ask me why, I just am. Ow, fuck. Should have brought a pair of scissors in here with me, as always. I never have the right shit when I need it. But, um... Like I was trying to say, he wants to get on social media and act like he's never got money. He's always broke and always complaining about, you know, oh, his life is this and that. But it's stupid of him to not think, you know, yeah, he's got another 